Hi friends, I am Jibin. Welcome to my channel, Steps to UK. Through my channel, I am sharing my knowledge about how a medical lab technician or medical lab professional will get a job in UK, especially through the NHS website. And I already informed you that senior medical lab assistant, medical lab assistant and associate practitioner or trainee BMS, these are some job categories which does not require HCPC or even IELTS. So definitely the people who have MS or BSc, they have enough experience. Definitely, they can apply for uh, these kinds of jobs from abroad. And now, uh, I would like to explain what are the steps to follow uh, while we start an application. So, let's have a look at this. Go to NHS website and this page will come. Here, type the keyword medical laboratory assistant and click search button type medical lab assistant and click search button then here you can see a list of medical lab technician jobs there and you can read each jobs there will be two or three pages and click the blue lines like the medical laboratory assistant and apply click apply for this job then this page will come here you can see it's a permanent or full-time job see job description person specification and additional information read all these carefully then we can understand whether they provide sponsorship certificate or not here these are the qualifications they are expecting so definitely we should look for each of these and click see the certificate or sponsorship here it's a medical lab technician job but they are clearly mentioned that they will provide a sponsorship certificate this is the page that they are looking for the essential and desirable criteria so in the supporting documents definitely they will tick what we mention in each supporting documents read uh, these essential and desirable criteria for the qualification for the skills and for personal qualities so find out the keywords in each line and mention all you have in supporting documents you can give an introduction like three to four lines of introduction and after that you should mention the qualification or any professional license like paramedical council license you have and you can explain uh, i have a ahp license or in the next to line you can give uh, bullet points like the qualities uh, in a bullet points and read the skills you, we can see the first skill is have a good manual dexterity skill so definitely in the supporting documents you should add i have uh, the skills should be a manual dexterity and next one is good oral and written communication skill so the first quality is material maternal dexterity and second quality uh, second skill is communication skill and uh, third skill is um, ability to uh, effectively apply skills and knowledge so uh, recognize or find out the keywords in each line and mark all these in a bullet point so this is the way that they will uh, they will note our profile and they will tick uh -huh, this person is having all the skills so this person is having all the qualifications so definitely you will you can get a high score whoever get or whoever meet these essential and disabled criteria they will get a, an interview call so this is the way that they are uh, they are um, analyzing our profile so basic thing is read this job in description very carefully and add all of these points in your supporting document now we can click continue how to apply for this just continue so the track jobs uh, page will come here uh, you should type uh, i do not have right to work in uk so this is the uh, immigration status so which one we should click i do not have right to work in uk so uh, click and continue add your personal details here then you can see a relationship if your pa partner is working or your anyone is working in nhs hospital you can mention uh, i have a close relationship with the person and add the um, details of the uh, uh, details of the person who is related with you and if nothing is there you should uh, write not applicable like na you can write na here if you have a relationship type uh, your relationship in this section 
if you have no relationship with the trust definitely you go uh, like na not applicable next one is your subject and qualification and training course if you have just uh, say one next and this is the page if you have the hcpc license definitely you can click any of these otherwise you can put uh, this uh, does not require hcpc and next stage is add employer name employer address and uh, this is a page where you can show your brief history you can show what you experienced from your lab i add all my uh, details here what i done in my previous uh, hospitals and here you can uh, click and type if you have any gap in your professional life definitely you can uh, explain the things in that particular section this is a section that you should uh, explain about your referee here you should add a gmail address and mo mobile phone number for them if you work in nhs service you mark here otherwise just go with save and next this is the page where we should add the supporting documents so in supporting documents they uh, they mention that you can show your skills and strength here so this is the place that you should uh, we can show that you read the job description very carefully and show you and strengthen your uh, or profile with the supporting documents our next one is disability and here uh, click no and fill all these details and click mark section as complete and if you have any crimes or any offenders you should go with that and lastly the declaration and tick here i agree to above and finally you can submit your application if you if you click or if you fill all these category you can click submit application hope this video is really helpful to you and try at least 100 jobs and never give up and keep trying see you see you with another video bye